Hey Divas, it has been a week since I put up a video. I thought I would let y'all rest from seeing my face. Um, I'm back. Anyhow, um, I just came to y'all tonight to tell y'all what's been going on with me uh, and my hair uh, underneath this lovely scarf <laughs> that I done tied into a bow. I am rocking a braid out. It is still braided. Let's see my braids. Yes, it is a braid out and not a twist out. I am leaning more towards the braid outs these days. It's much easier to do 16 braids than it is to do 50 twists. So, yeah. Um, and I like the way it looks, too. Uh, shout out to Rita Mae June. Anyway. Um, yeah. So... Y'all know I did that jazzing um, rinse, the fuchsia plum in my hair a couple weeks ago. Well, after I did the jazzing rinse, I don't know why, but like you would any other chemical process, I thought it would be great to do a protein treatment on my hair. Well, <laughs> unbeknownst to me, jazzing acts like a protein on the hair in that it fills in the holes um in the hair shaft you know doing repairing and strengthening reconstruction um reconstructing or whatever and uh yeah jazzing acts like a protein so when i did the protein treatment behind that that was a definite no-no okay then on top of that the products that i use um don't contain protein but do contain plant extracts which also act as proteins so i would say um over the course of a couple of weeks i threw myself into protein overload my hair was hard when i say my hair was hard y'all it was hard my hair was hard uh, I was getting breakage, and my hair just was, like, in shock, and I just didn't know what to do. Um, I really had to kick back and just, like, mull it over and really think about it. Like, what am I going to do to rectify this situation because I'm in trouble? So, what I did was I looked at all my products, and I was like, wow, every product that I own um, with the experience, probably the exception of just my conditioner it had protein in it or some form of protein or something that acts like a protein so I was like wow that ain't gonna work <laughs> that is not gonna work so what I ended up having to do was go and get uh some uh conditioners and moisturizers and different stuff and it's nothing major so it ain't even nothing to do a review on or nothing like that but anyway, I went and got some moisturizing things for my hair. And I've been using those. Now, what got me and pulled me back from the land of the lost was I did um, a deep conditioning treatment, which I had absolutely forgot I had this. Um, I just, it just popped into my head and I remembered. I have um, some ghee in my refrigerator. I don't know if y'all have seen that video, my deep conditioning video, where I do the um ghee not the cocoa tree detangling ghee by comet but actual clarified butter just ghee that i got from my local indian store so what i did was i took the ghee i melted it and then i mixed it with uh some of my tresemme naturals conditioner and then i whipped it basically until it became like real creamy i put that on i slept in that overnight and my softness was back my hair was back and i just was like oh thank you jesus thank you jesus so for now i am laying off of the protein products um i am not going to start my commit biologics growth challenge i to recant that i apologize i am not going to be starting that challenge on the first um right now my hair is in a delicate sensitive state so i am definitely laying off a of protein for a while like until I'm 100% back right, I'm not going to do any protein products. 
Now, one thing that I am doing and that I am back on is, one second, I am back to using my MN. I don't know if you can see what that says, but that says uh, three-day vaginal cream. That's right. I'm back using the uh, Myconazole Nitrate on my scalp. I have used it before and got awesome results. So I am using that on a daily basis. I take it right straight from the tube and apply it straight to my scalp. I do not get it on my hair. I only apply it to my scalp. Um, but it is one growth aid. Well, it's two growth aids that I can say that I've honestly, I've three that I've used and they absolutely positively work for me. Um, the first being castor oil. The second being um, monostat or monoc myconazole nitrate and the third being megatech those three things those three growth aids i can honestly say that i have used and they have worked wonders for me as well as other members of my family um as far as speeding up growth so i'm yeah i'm back on my mn um i also have a spot in my head right here right behind this twist or braid right here um where my hair is very thin i've had trouble with this spot for years and the only thing that uh works on that spot and helps to thicken that spot up is um the mn that's the only thing that i know of that um has worked to help thicken that spot up and make that spot all right what well, megatech too um so that's what's going on with my hair so for right now i am um um, co-washing and um, using a moisturizer which I'm not gonna name as a well I'll name it I'm using uh, my um, blue magic argon oil um, leave-in with vitamin E um, I also use the uh, blue magic herbal something is purple and uh, between those two those are is what I'm using for my leave-in um, I know that they have protein in it, but it's so close to the bottom of the list that it's, you know, minimal. So it's not, um, it's not affecting my hair. I'm going to say that. Um, still sealing with castor oil. I, I'm using a mixture of castor oil and grapeseed oil now because it's hot outside. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want, um, the oil quite as heavy and quite as thick. So I'm mixing my castor oil with the grapeseed oil, but I'm definitely still on my castor oil. So castor oil challenge divas. Yes, honey, I'm still going. I'm still going strong with the castor oil. Haven't stopped. Um, I think that's about it. So uh, I just want to tell y'all what was going on with my hair, what I've been doing. And um, that's all. All righty. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section. And I will definitely get back to you. I do appreciate you all for watching. To my new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. To my old subscribers, thank you so much for hanging in there with your girl. All right. Mwah. Be beautiful, divas.